Meditation is really about learning to understand and control your own brain, not have someone else control it. I was kind of particularly interested in the way that meditation really is solving a lot of the exact same problems that our technology, technologic society is sort of causing. Things like attention span shortening and isolation and lack of empathy. Um, and so I did a lot of research into the negative aspects or the negative um, side effects of our sort of technology addiction. And I didn't want to then do all that research and then turn away and create another piece of technology which was also going to be an addictive thing. Numbers are addictive. It's, it's been shown when people, people push their bodies further than they should because they've got to meet their Fitbit's demands. So I thought a soft data feedback was more appropriate because it's allowing people to retain a little bit of the learning of themselves just with help. It's not meant to sort of do everything for you magically. So my project is called the Metacognition Revolution and um, metacognition means to understand the th your thought process, to understand and think about what you're thinking. So I want to help bring about a sort of revolution where people are taking more time to consider their thoughts in their brains because there's a lot of unconscious sharing and reacting going on um, with technology sort of speeding that up and I think that if we can take more time to consider our actions and our thoughts it's going to be beneficial. You don't need anything to meditate, and I totally like support that concept because it's true. But a lot of apps are helping you to um, sort of time you or give you guided, and those are great. But the Mind Mirror is offering something much more high fidelity than that. It's really showing you what's happening in your brain so that you can understand the process better. Um, particularly when you're starting out with meditation, it's very hard to know the right way to meditate. But once you've got it, it's quite a visceral feeling and it feels good. Um, but recognizing that and learning to recognize that is a quite a big hurdle to learning to meditate. And the Mind Mirror helps you get over that kind of initial problem of what you should be doing when you're sitting there with your eyes closed. How I sort of started thinking about meditation or why I started thinking about meditation was because I have myself suffered from anxiety and depression and um, a lot of the solutions out there weren't really working for me. So when I tried meditation, I really felt the benefits of it. Um, and I just wanted to bring those benefits to other people. And the more research I did into it and the crossover with some of the issues that we're facing, it just seemed like such a good use of technology when I get very frustrated with a lot of the technology uses seem like they're not really helping people, they're just making things more convenient but not actually making people feel better. So I found something that made people feel better. We have the technology to, to like, in to sort of facilitate it. It made sense to combine them.